do you guys get recognized a lot um, on the street by fans? Do they approach you and say, oh my God. <laughs> I, uh, not so much in, in LA. I mean, we do obviously at the conventions when it's, but you know, we're covered in prosthetics and I, I get recognized more for other shows, not not necessarily for for Star Trek. Uh, mm -hmm. But I love interacting with the fans, and I've always uh, appreciate the the love and support. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's also been great being on a show like this in the world of social media, because mm -hmm. before I and mean, when even with Sorak, when you were working, there wasn't really that same platform and interaction with fans. So it's a whole different uh, element to the relationship and the community. And in a, in a wonderful way, it can be a real wonderful tool. And um, to be able to interact with them and see the fan art and the responses in, in a very quick time has, has been uh, really wonderful and I love the engagement and for me personally with my struggles with my illness it's been really important in um, you know and helping me along and, and making me feel supported and loved so I've always uh, appreciated that mm -hmm. yeah definitely um, yeah, I mean, the I just agree that the the social interaction um, online just contributes to uh, the in person interactions because I've had so many instances where, um, yeah, I mean, Steffi being one shiny example of an of artist online who created work that I loved and we communicated online until we met at a convention and then we've continued to build that relationship um, over the years and there have been so many you know, culminations of moments of positive interactions online that then I'm that person that posted that thing when they come to my booth or whatever. And I'm like, oh yeah. And uh, I've had a few instances because I'm a real deep diver. Like I'll find the videos talking about Laura or whatever. So um, I've had a few instances like uh, Jesse Gender, who I actually just was in one of her new videos about Trek. Um, uh, I had seen the video she had made about Laurel and we met in person at a play reading and I recognized her and she was like, what? <laughs> and uh, it's, it's like moments like that are just so delightful because I am a geek myself and being able to share that passion uh, with the fans is just so thrilling. Um, and I will say though, in recognition, I've had a, like a handful of like, I say like coffee shop, recognition moments that like blow my mind like the people clearly like follow me on social media because I don't know how else they would but I one of my favorites was right after the finale of season two um I was at coffee shop and the barista was like did you just did you just help like save all sentient life in the galaxy <laughs> like and I was like I did I did do that <laughs> And it was so neat. And I just like, and it was a, it wasn't like, it was like a eh, day. Like I was kind of like needing that coffee. And so it just brightened my whole, whole day. And it was so lovely. So I've had a handful of moments like that, which are really lovely because they really take by surprise. Bless you, sir. Or Kalish. Kalish, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I thought you were going to say your coffee shop encounters were like the Starbucks at Star Trek Las Vegas or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. I get a lot of those. Yes, that's definitely true. <laughs> Aw, love from Dougie. Uh, also, quick word about Doug. He will be on the Discovery panel uh, with uh, a few other castmates, Raven, uh, David, and who's the other one? Hannah uh, Spear, Hannah right? Hannah Spear, His exactly. Sister. Serana who plays his sister, right? So they're going to be on Sunday. So check that out, everybody. Um, and That's Doug, a great group. And when we read his thing, we read it in his voice, don't we? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> There's love. Uh, very Lisa, Joe Colton says we need to get uh, you in a Klingon costume. Okay, yes. <laughs> we got to figure that out. Yeah, yep. you were like, it doesn't sound great. <laughs> yeah. No. 
<laughs> and a good question. What is your favorite Klingon word to say? Uh, I had a word in the, um, in the, my first appearance on episode two, and I think in the edits it kind of got faded out, but um, originally all the Klingons, uh, holograms, were talking and arguing, and I was in the forefront, and I got to turn around and say, Madame Cho! <laughs> Which means shut up. <laughs> I always, always love that. And then what was the other one, Mary? Uh, food is uh, oh, so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah. We had to because that that uh, scene where Voke and I come back to the ship and uh, Cole has like gotten everyone's. Um, a trust or you know alliance by bringing them food and we every time we'd walk up and ken had to do it so many times where we would turn around and go so <laughs> yeah. and I just being like oh man it's a classic it's a classic oh. yeah um there's a curse nice. word i learned um Kultvak. i i just saw my spit there Mary, <laughs> you, you gotta spit a little bit when you speak yeah. Klingon, right? There's a little spitting involved. It's true. It's, it's kind of part of the part of the job description. But yeah, that's a fun one. Um, and then I actually what does that word mean? I they don't say it. It's it's like the worst curse word. So I'm assuming okay. I, uh, I I I won't say it because I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but I remember looking at it, I was like, that's fun. I just love the, anytime that big Q is around, it's like, you know, you're in for a good time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, and, um, yeah. And a lot of spit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Hurt says, I was also very impressed with how much work they put into the Klingon language creation, how well the actors portrayed their characters. You guys had a ton of prep, right? Kenneth was telling us, like weeks in advance, at least for him. I mean, whether it's whether it's learning the entire language ahead of time or trying to, or just the hours that you spent before ever up into it, right? Yeah, and uh, you know the idea. Like I said, episode four, I feel like was maybe the most for the amount of language, and uh, we had the most amount of prep before that episode because we were not in the third episode, so there was a little bit more of a um, space, but. Um, unfortunately, there were also times where uh, we would have loved uh, three weeks of prep and we had three days. Um, <laughs> and that's why we're so close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were times where they, you know, the, with the writing, you just couldn't avoid yeah. some rewrites. And unfortunately, with the Klingon language, you change one word in English and it just messes up the whole sentence that you memorized in Klingon and you're basically have to start again. But there were a few episodes or scenes where, um, you know, not to give too much of the magic away, but we had to read off a cue cards because we just didn't get the material in time. But even with the cue cards, you have to... You know, I'm still. I still feel proud of the fact that we got to a point where we were able to read Klingon phonetically. Yeah. At yeah. a pace where we could look mm -hmm. at it on a cue card and make it sound naturalistic. Yeah. So, you know, it still was challenging, especially when the cue cards are so small and we have contacts in. And the other elements when you're tired, it's, you know, working for 15 hours in prosthetics and you still need to deliver that close up. Um, but, you know, we, we got it done and, and we were motivated and inspired to, to always do the best job we could because, you know, Star Trek is important as much as we could. Yeah, yeah. That um, particular episode, the episode eight, where we had Cole and Laurel had 
two very big interactions on the sarcophagus ship. That was the one where we really had to um, get it together within a uh, within a few days. But I will say that. But another funny part was that when we were when the camera wasn't on us, we couldn't have the cue cards because they would be in the shot. So we had to semi improvise. Like I we. We're pretty solid in 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 knowing it. I, I still am very impressed with both of us, the way in which we were able to know most of it by that day. Um, but there were a few moments where it was more important to keep the rhythm of the scene. So we knew that. So there were a few times where I would just be like, wow, moop, meh, wacha. Wow, cause Samba Zumba K. And then like, and then like, but it was like the right, like I knew it was that a length of time that Ken could have that rhythm of, what I was emotionally giving to him. And uh, it was uh, <laughs> quite an experience, but we really did. And that was, I always talk about this day because we went until 6 a.m. Uh, it was a frater day. Wow. As we wow. And uh, it's the whole where Cole uh, puts the paint on my face and uh, all that. And so that was like right near the end, the whole paint uh, stuff. And I, exactly. You're so tired and your brain is fried, but Rhea bless her is there to shout the Klingon if we need it. And, um, but we did it. And, uh, I, that was, you know, we were, we had bonded in episode four, but to me, that was like such a big moment in just both as, as actors and as, as friends that we were like, mm. okay, this person's gonna, gonna pull it out. Cause we care. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, it kind of, you know, and that was, I guess, I can't even remember what, that must have been during the summer. Because that was, was that before we went to Vegas? It was, like, it was extra hot. Like, it was really yes. hot. Was right. <laughs> On top of everything. <laughs> but yeah, I think that that was kind of, it was like, we had done this really intense episode together. And then we started helping to promote the show. And it was all kind of this because the show was airing, started airing as we were still filming, like it was such an interesting circumstance with that first season that it was everything was like one thing on top of the other, that we were getting to know the show as it was being promoted, as it was starting to air, as we were still filming. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty wild. Good. Saturday, I like that one. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <that's> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got just a couple minutes left, uh, but very quickly, we've got an amendment. Uh, Scott Jensen reminds us that's Captain Saru. Oh, <laughs> okay. We're hoping so. You know, we, yeah. we love Saru. We love Doug. Uh, we covered that. And the other one was, uh, Mary, please tell everyone how Doug helped you at the start of Discovery. Hmm. Um, well, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, just in, in all the ways, I mean, a, a, the simplest thing of like, if he was in the trailer when, when I was getting made up, just, he would always come over and be like, check in, how you doing? When I was getting my full body, um, prosthetic that one day, he was like, Oh, I've been there, <laughs> you know, like, um, <laughs> sort of. um, but we did, I, I know that we had more than one coffee date, but I, there's one very distinctly in my mind pretty early on where uh, we went, you know, got some coffee, walked around uh, downtown Toronto and um, I picked his brain about his past experiences and asked about his longest time in the makeup chair and um, which I believe was 11 hours uh, before. Wow. Um, wow. Getting ready for the Oscars. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> Um, but just, just so lovely. And just talking to, I mean, uh, it's, I think, you know, we've all made that clear that that's so who, who Doug is, but his, his appreciation of the, um, of the storytelling and of the character. And that was, I think a big, um, it, it wasn't so much a question cause that was definitely my intent. And I know Ken's as well is like, you want to, it's not this like other creature that you're distanced from. It's like about making sure it's so filled with, your personal, whatever acting work you need to do to make it deeply emotional and personal for you. Um, because then you're having to push it through so much more than you would with just, just your human face. And that's something that Doug definitely brings to all of his roles is that deep spiritual connection to who the character is. Um, and you see it, um, in all of them. So that was a, a big part of our conversation as well. was just like, 
that it's there's no superficial quality you have to actually have to be no i don't want to say more authentic i don't want to compare it's apples and oranges but that you there's a certain level of authenticity that must be there um and i found too for me because my eyes were one of the biggest windows in for laurel um that if my eyes you could tell if i was lying <laughs> So I had to be 100% authentic in, in my experience as a character. And I think we bond bonded over the fact that I definitely love extreme characters um, mm -hmm. and getting to transform. Um, but I'm also a total goofball in real life. So um, that was also because Doug is this wonderful, buoyant human. So I think we identified with having to do some tough characters, which he gets to be um, close to himself in a lovely way as Saru. Um, but definitely in the past has played some pretty intense creatures. So those are a few. Yeah. Mm. Your mother. Of course, since your mother wears combat boots is actually a compliment in Klingon. That, that tracks. <laughs> and I do. <laughs> mother definitely wears a lot of combat boots. Not in the past <laughs> few months. They're just sitting there in my closet like, but I do love my big boots. <laughs> Well, I think that's about all the time we have. Um, wow. We really appreciate you guys joining us. Unless you want to stick around for one more question. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I love these things so much. It's just so it's just getting to hang out with friends and talk about wonderful experiences. So it's always. Somebody else said in the comments uh, that you were a goofball when you said it too, but I think I think it's definitely the both of you. That easily. No, no, no. Yes. I, well, I would get in trouble on set, particularly in Point of Light, because Ken and Shazad are the biggest goofballs and would do everything <laughs> to make me laugh. Ken is almost out being like this. He was what was it like, evil Santa? And he'd be like, "What do you want for Christmas, little boy?" And like, <laughs> just the silliest, silliest thing. So yes, absolutely. I'm so grateful for that. That was a real great contrast in the intensity of what we were dealing with in the plot and then just being able to laugh even though I was getting in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, on our way out, a couple people are saying thank you to you. Yeah, thank you, Julia, really, pan panel. You're amazing. Kappa. This was nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kenneth, for wearing the Be Kind t-shirt. It's a good mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Love yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Look at this love. There's too much of it. There's never so too much. Never too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Muhammad Noor was in the right And uh, Doctor. Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I think it. it's Can awesome, Mary, too. I was, I was pleasantly surprised. I said, wow, she's so beautiful. And you know, it, you can't tell how beautiful you are when you see you and all that makeup. But then when I saw you in person, I said, wow, she's a very beautiful woman. Aww, well, thank pleasant you. surprise. Thank you. Yeah, Laurel is, is, <laughs> is beautiful in her own right in a very Klingon way. Um, but yeah, it's it's fun to have that that contrast. And I do. I like I like being all, all different sides of myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I was noticing how beautiful Lorel actually is, mm -hmm. and and that really comes through her eyes, as you said, and yeah, nice work Thanks. in that. Yes, thanks. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, Cole is beautiful too. <laughs> That's true. Of course, <laughs> Cole, Cole is hot. No Cole is hot. Cole is hot, and so is Cole tonight. Cole's hot is. He's a little, but yeah. yeah. I, there's some handsome, you know, and I remember too when Tanavik was in, when that episode came out, I remember a lot of people being like, why am I so attracted to this Klingon? Like, I remember that, like, <laughs> with my people were like why, am I, why am I hot for Tanavik? Like, it was the whole, I, I, I think you saw that, but it was, I was, I was a proud mama. I was like, that's right. <laughs> That's right. I have a very <laughs> some good genes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 
Very nice. Oh, lots of great. Oh, thanks thank for all the love you, and thanks. Uh, it's going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marie, oh, so many lovely you know, people. Such a great yeah. Anne Marie says, I love. <laughs> <laughs> Anne Marie. I love Anne Marie. Awesome, there are only seven O's. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Anne Marie. Hmm? All right, everybody. We better run. Uh, but we really appreciate it. Uh, mm -hmm. We really appreciate everybody tuning in to say nice things as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys, like I said, you go above and beyond for us and for the fans. And the fans totally love you and totally appreciate you more for who you are than even what you did on set. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> and everybody at home, please check the description box below to get uh, some information on the charities uh, from, from Mary and Kenneth and uh, take care of each other and send Kenneth a load of love. I censored myself there. Just send him a ton of love. Everybody, <laughs> right? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you all very much. We'll I'll see you on the next. Fighting. Sorry, say that again, Kenneth. I'll keep fighting for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I want our prayers are with you, man. We want you to be uh, strong and healthy as long as as long as you can, man. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we're we're here fighting with you. We're in your corner, man. People yes. love you. We love you. Yeah. Thank you. I want to stick around. Thank you. Keep smiling on us. He's got a warrior's heart. Yes. This is true. Yes. All right. Thanks. Thank you. This was awesome. Yeah. All right, everybody. We'll see you soon. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. You can find it at the very top of the description box, which is right below this video. Right below the video, you'll see a little link. You hop over to the next one and <laughs> is dancing. He's like, are you guys still here? What's going on? <laughs> nice. He's doing right. donuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Donuts. All right. See you later, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.